sweet ingredients served with flair. A perfect combination like you and pick and pay. And you're back with Expresso on SABC3, your feel-good breakfast show. It's another terrific Tuesday here today. Now, if you remember back in high school, we learned that phrase from the Merchant of Venice, all that glitters is not gold. That pertains to what we're going to be talking about in our Expresso kitchen today. And we're talking about organic vegetables versus non-organic vegetables. And just because it looks good doesn't mean it has all the goodness that you need. And with us to tell us more is our Expresso chef and food stylist, Zola. Good morning. Hello. How did you like that Intro, all that glitters is not gold. Fantastic. It's beautiful. <laughs> Took you back, eh? So musical. <laughs> yeah. So listen, we've got a ton of vegetables here today. Not a ton, but What's a few. What's the difference? Yeah. Okay, so this side we have the, the odd looking stuff, which is the organic stuff. The knobbly looking stuff. And this is the pristine, pretty stuff. Oh, yeah. That's conventionally farmed, non-organic. The pretty vegetables. So when okay. I shop for vegetables, say for props for, for, for Vital, when you see yes. Andrea pointing at the vegetables, I always go for the good looking stuff. Because yes. you want the vegetables to look really good so people are like, of course that's good for you. Yes. So if I was picking a beetroot, I'd be like, oh look, what a perfect specimen of beetroot. And then you'd mm. be like, what? If I use this, you'd be like, I, I ain't shame. eating beetroot, that's yeah. weird. Why okay. must you like, discriminate? You know, yes. <laughs> okay, so the organic stuff looks a little wonky. Yeah. Because it's not it's not grown to be perfect, it's mm. grown to be good for the environment and yes. to just be a good vegetable in essence. Okay. So just because it looks wonky doesn't mean it tastes wonky. Okay. Now so don't be afraid to pick organic stuff because okay. you're like, ooh, what is this? What do I do with this thing? No, you're gonna cook it exactly the same okay. way as you do the pretty the stuff. Pre the pretty stuff. So exactly. what it exactly is organic farming? Okay, so organic farmers use biological pesticides, so they don't yeah. use chemical pesticides, mm. and also they, they rotate their crops. Yeah. So one year they'll plant carrots in one place, then they'll they'll move it along and plant potatoes the next year, just yeah. so that whatever's in the soil that was perhaps eating the carrots and making them more wonky yeah. won't do the same the next year. So they right. use like natural methods yes. to combat. Also, they, they um, introduce in, in insects and mm. stuff that, that eat the bad bugs so that wow. they don't need to use pesticides and chemicals. Okay. So it's good for you. So think about it. If you eat organic stuff, mm. you, you're guilt-free eating. That's true. Because you're like, oh, no animals died. Or in like, the making of exact, this vegetable. Exactly. Awesome. Exactly. So, and, and now we all know that organic vegetables are a bit more expensive than non-organic vegetables, exactly. right? Because it's, an, it's a non-conventional way to farm. Yes. Exa and everything is moving along towards organic anyway. So yeah. hopefully, uh, you know, the more people buy organic, the yeah. cheaper it'll become. So don't be afraid. If your vegetable looks like this, don't be afraid to go <laughs> for this as opposed to this. Exactly. This is prettier, but this one, she's healthier. Yeah. Nah? This po is and possibly tastier. Wonderful, yeah. Exactly. And now it's so easy. I mean, you you, you used to be able have to go to like farmers markets yeah. and stuff to get organic stuff, but now Pick and Pay is actually stocking the stuff. So awesome. all of this I found at Pick and Pay. Awesome. Pick and Pay is doing a lot of amazing things, including the fact that they are supporting local emerging organic farmers. Now, we stopped in Limpopo where numerous job opportunities have been created and they aren't stopping there. Let's take a look at what the Ackerman Pick and Pay Foundation is doing for the community in Limpopo. Thank you, Zola. Thank you. <laughs> Think farmers markets are the only places to get the freshest organic fruit and veggies? Not anymore. Pick and Pay is committed to bringing it right to you by supporting emerging farmers such as the Nkoma Monta Organic Farmers Cooperative. Our involvement uh, with this uh, project is that as a company would also like to address the question of the poverty that you usually find in these areas, also to try and create uh, employment. And it is really Pick and Pay's view that uh, wherever we are and wherever we have the stores that we try and really make a difference in the lives of the ordinary people. Based in Tsanin, Limpopo and formed in November of 2005, the member farmers rose to the challenge of creating a better life for themselves while answering the growing demand for organics. The name of our co-op is Nkoma Monta. The name comes from where the people are coming from. It is a huge area where our members are coming from, but we are 15 farmers who have started this co-op so that we can supply together as a group to pick and pay. We have already employed over 80 workers all together as a co-op. The cooperative will soon be supplying 217 tons of organic veggies to pick and pay stores, including green peppers, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, brinjals and more. One of our challenges is that we're not having a pack house locally here, but the department is busy planning to put up a pack house locally. We are going to package a Tara estate near Captain Park. Organic farming uses resources effectively, 
By producing only what is suited to local conditions, together with crop rotation, it promotes soil health, while the local community benefits from the economic reward. It's within my department's uh, philosophy and also ambition that uh, the private sector should get more involved with the farmers, especially those who are small farmers and true cooperatives. We are very much proud about this, these farmers because as Zanin, agriculture is gold. We are relying mainly in agriculture. So we are very much proud of them and we are very much happy that Pick and Pay are assisting them. Dreams becoming a reality. Producing organics requires excellent management skills and the Ackerman Pick and Pay Foundation also lends support through mentorship and training programs. Our involvement with in Komomonto started about a year ago. Funding the project and what we see today has just been a milestone uh, for us as a company. A lot of work has gone into this project and it's good to see that the fruits of it are now paying off. We have plans to take in Komomonto to the next level within the next year. Currently we are discussing a two to three year plan with these current farmers to get up to 25 to 30 lines being grown for us organically. It's great to know that what you put in your shopping basket is good for your health, growing the local economy while helping to sustain Mother Earth for future generations. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.